Good morning again. It's your friend Dan at Rad Engineering, and I'm with my friend Justin, who's actually recording the video. It's uh, February the 24th, 2022, and we're going to briefly talk about the JS8 call software, specifically what's called the API. Before we get too deep into that, I want to show you, this is the JS8 call guide. If you download the application, you've got 34 pages. This is the page on the API definition. JSA call uses a JSON API offered over UDP and TCP. More detailed documentation will be available in the future. Well, that's really helpful. I mean, the application's been out for a couple of years and, and you know, you'd think, well, maybe they haven't finished the API. Maybe it's still being worked on, but that's not what this says. It just says something will be available in the future. I did a lot of digging around and I was able to cobble together a couple of things. Um, I found a website where someone had actually listed out all of the commands you can send to JSA. So like, you know, these are messages from JSA. These are messages too. And again, this is the API, TCP, or you know, TCP IP or UDP, these are inter-process uh, communications protocols. TCP IP and UDP are two different types of protocols so that two programs or more programs in a computer can talk to each other. These commands, like the messages to JSA call, like inbox get messages, inbox store message, these were not in the user guide. I had to find these on the random edge of the universe last week, and Justin can confirm this, when I was getting close to getting the API to work, I was just randomly putting in combinations because I didn't have this. This obviously wasn't in the PDF because it's coming in the future. So I had to find this. I found this and I was able to take the Python program that comes with the JSA. When you unzip JSA, there'll be a Python program in there for testing the API. It, if you're running Python 3, it, it, it has a bug, but the script that I have in this page that will be included in the YouTube link has removed the bug. If you're running other versions of Python, the script might work as is. The problem is what he includes in the script, the basic version of the script, is basically station get status, get status message, okay? What I went ahead and did is I took one of these other messages, okay? Um, yeah, one of these other messages, like set text. And that's the example, the example, if you run it, if you're running JS8, if you have your ports set up, and again, you have to open up your ports on your computer. There's a lot of stuff you have to kind of understand a little bit about to make this work. But as long as the port is open on your computer and on Ubuntu, you use UFW, that's the utility you use to open and close ports. As long as that port is open and JS8 is running, this set text will send whatever text is here in the Python program to the JS8 call text text view, um, which I can show you right here, it's still up. So this little text zone right here, the Python script on that web page will send text to that text zone. Again, if the port is open, if JS8 is running, you know, you, there are a few things here that involve some programming knowledge, but not that much. We're going to include the link. The key point is, I would say, before we close out on this though, is I haven't tested I have not tested every single one of these commands. I've only tested a couple of them. Um, I can only assume because the documentation is coming in the future that these have been tested, but that's an assumption. If you look at the JSA call PDF, one of the most useful things to somebody who's gonna like do this kind of stuff is the least documented. I find that interesting. I find it interesting that a whole bunch of things that are useful but not necessarily exciting have some documentation, but something that would allow you to essentially turn JSA call into a very useful tool. Like I said, go back to the PDF and what does it say? More detailed documentation will be available in the future. So here's the deal. We're gonna include a link to that page in the video. You can contact me at planetarystatusreport at gmail.com. Say, hey, Dan, I tried running this Python, but I got this error message. Chances are I can help you with that. But the point is, I wouldn't have put the Python there if I didn't already test it. Justin can confirm I tested it. So it works. And then the question is, can we document the API together? And the answer is yes, we can do that. 
Um, I'm probably not going to get that all done this month. We're working on a lot of projects right now, but we will be documenting every single part of the API we use. So really exciting. JSA call is a very useful tool. And with the API, you can have other programs using that tool without having to have to deal with the application. It also means you can abstract out the complexity of JS8. So that's also really cool. Make it easier for people to use. So for uh, Thursday, February the 24th, you know, here at Rad Engineering, keep on keeping on.